And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Jason Valentine. Good Monday, everyone. Welcome to the work week. Hope you had a wonderful day today and a very nice weekend. Start to get warm and warm over the weekend. We're seeing it right now. Just a hint of shower activity coming through the mid Columbia. We do have a chance of seeing a little bit of shower activity. Best chance will be tomorrow afternoon. I'll get to that in a second, but temperatures are very, very warm right now across the board. 96 in the Yakima, 98 the hot spot in Hermiston, 97 in the Tri Cities, in the 90s across the board, and we expect similar temperatures, maybe a touch warmer tomorrow. Also, winds are going to pick up tomorrow, and that's going to add to some of the danger which we see coming. 60 mile per hour winds right now for Ellensburg. Other than that, light winds. But tomorrow afternoon, starting at 2 o'clock, we have a fire weather watch. Now, that's one step below a red flag warning, but it's for our entire region except for save maybe Yakima. Now what that means is they expect, now the weather service said this, abundant thunder and lightning and dry conditions and breezy conditions as winds get to the mid-teens with gusts in the 20 mile per hour range. So tomorrow afternoon, please be aware, fire danger is high. All right, low pressure systems sticking with us and as we head into tomorrow evening, again, we have that shot of seeing a little bit of thunder and lightning action tomorrow, then clear skies as we head into the weekend. Should be very, very nice. Beautiful look at our Legend Sky Cam Network. Plenty of sunshine today, a little bit of cloud coverage here and there. And just a little bit of shower activity. It ruined Carissa's run this morning, but maybe it was refreshing. Clear skies overnight, overnight lows in the 60s. Look at these temperatures. Very, very warm for your overnight. As we head into tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, mid to upper 90s, 91 in Ellensburg. Again, a chance of that thunder and lightning as we head into the afternoon, but do expect winds as well. Yakima seven day forecast. And again, a, a reason for those winds as my hand disappears and the thunder and lightning is we're going to see a change pretty significant, about a 10 degree change from tomorrow to Wednesday. Then we'll be back to the 90s and then a little cooler for your weekend all over the place. Tri Cities area down to 86 by Wednesday, 97 by Friday, and then right at the 90s for Water Follies weekend. So get ready for a beautiful day tomorrow until maybe the afternoon when winds pick up and we have that fire weather danger to starting at 2 till 5 a.m. early Wednesday morning.